In this video, we're going to take a look at Executive Summary Report, which is a new addition to reporting on DNA Center. Let's quickly go ahead and schedule a report. One can do that by clicking on Platform, by going to Developer Toolkit, and then Data and Reports. In the reporting catalog, in the previous release, we already had client inventory and swim related reports. Now we've come up with the executive summary report. Basically this executive summary report will give you a holistic view of your network devices, your client devices, both wired and wireless, and also the issues related to the client and network devices. Let's go ahead and schedule an uh, executive summary here. Let's click on schedule. We autofill the report name here based on the time and the date. In case if you're not comfortable, you can edit that as well. And currently we support PDF format and in the upcoming releases, we'll be supporting more formats. And there are two types of reports one can generate, which is daily report. The other one is weekly report. In case if you select daily report, the report will contain data from Jan 15th, 6.51 p.m. to Jan 16th, 6.51 p.m. And in case if you select for a weekly report, the boundary here is midnight. So which means the report will contain data from Jan 16th midnight to the last seven days. There are three options to schedule. Schedule now is nothing but a one-off report and schedule for later, you can schedule it at a later point in time, for example, of business hours. And if you select a recurring schedule, which means you can schedule for specific days and specific time. For now, I'm gonna do schedule now. And the other option is to send this report via email. Make sure that you configure your SMTP server settings under settings page. Let's click on schedule and search the report based on date. So there are four uh, states for this report. One is not initiated, the other one is in queue, third one is running and fourth one is completed. Let's click on refresh. So now it's gone to running state. Let's click on actions and see. So basically view config is nothing but what of the configurations you just did now and edit is to uh, edit the same configurations and to generate a duplicate report from this one and run now will run this report and delete to is to delete this report and if you click on the report list you will see the entry for the report which is currently right and running and in case if you run uh, uh, another report on the same date you will see two entries here Let's click on refresh. So it's completed. Let's click on download. Let's open the executive summary report. And this is the uh, 24 hour report, which is a daily report. And here we talk about the overall health summary of your network devices and your client devices both wireless and wired and we compare against usually the same day previous week so that's where we come up with this comparison and here it says 84 84 percent of your uh, network devices are healthy and we compare against the same day previous week and come up with this uh, comparison the same thing we do with both wired as well as wireless clients and this is the complete device inventory on your network so there are totally 14 devices on your network of which we give a split two routers four switches five access points and three wlan controllers and the same thing with the client devices as well we give a split of how many are wireless and how many are wired clients and we also give a comparison to how how many wireless clients or wired clients it was uh, from the same day previous week and this talks about the top five device types based on the client count 
so for example uh, it will give you information about what device type whether it's a windows laptop or a mac os laptop mac laptop or if it is an iphone android phone for example and this gives you top five client operating system based on the client count so here we talk about the issues so uh, the point i want to iterate here is uh, the issues what you whatever you're seeing here is basically uh, global issues only so here we talk about total issues and resolve issues and open issues and this total issues also involve ignore issues as well and we also show the trend graph of last 24 hours and this bar chart talks about the network and client issues whereas this line graph talks about the priority of issues and this will give you a top five sites based on the issue count and in this case san francisco site has uh, more number of issues and there are uh, zero which means no p1 issues and there are five p2 issues and 481 p3 and p4 issues and we give you a split of how many are network issues and how many are client issues and the top five network issues and top five client issues as well